this video we're going to look at solving equations with cross multiplication and we're going to look at a little trickier example one where there's going to be distribution involved okay so the directions here okay would be to solve for the variable okay. And the steps we would follow would be to one, cross multiply, and two, refer to the five step method. Okay. So the five step method becomes a little bit more involved here than in uh, the problem we saw maybe in the previous example I did, which was a very basic cross multiplication. But let's get started. We'll draw our cross multiplication symbol, and we'll see that we have 14 times 9 is 126 and then we're going to set that equal to now we have 18 times the quantity of m plus 3 now a lot of kids screw this up and say it's 18 times m plus 3 but what we really need to see here is that this is a quantity it's going to require distribution so before we try to distribute I'm going to write it as the product of 18 and this quantity okay so from there now, we're going to take a look at saying it's 126 equals, this is where the five-step method is going to kick in. So we see here we're going to be asked to distribute. So we've got 18m plus 54. We're going to perform the distribution. Then I look to collect like terms. Well, that's not needed. Then I look to see if I can get all of my variables on one side of the equation. Well, that's not needed either because I have one variable of m, and it is on one side. So now I'm going to take a look at doing undoing all my additions and subtractions. So I'll subtract 54 on both sides, and over here I will get. 72 equals 18m and 54 minus 54 becomes 0 and then I'm going to undo all my multiplications and divisions with the inverse here I have 18 times n so I will divide by it and that should in fact give me in the end 17 over 18 excuse me 72 over 18 is 4 that's equal to m and if you go to check this on your calculator which we've seen in examples prior to this um, just one little trick here on the calculator and again has to do with that m plus 3 in the numerator being a entire quantity so what we're going to do here is we're going to go 4 store x. Now, I'm just going to realize that although my calculator is an M button, it's simpler to hit x, and I can just think M or type x, and that's fine. Okay? But I do see that it's got to be a quantity of x plus 3 divided by 9. If I wrote just x plus 3 over 9, that wouldn't be correct. There's only be the 3 getting divided by 9. But for the whole thing to be divided by 9, I need the parentheses. Again, our second test button to pull up the equal sign. Second math, first in the list, we look for equals. And I would know if that's going to be equal to 14 divided by 18. Okay? So again, that rhyme we have is 1 is done and O is no. Here we have 1, which means the statement is true which means my value for x must be correct.